Frame Fatales is games done quick, all women online speedrunning community. The upcoming event, Flame Fatales, will run from August 13th to 20th. The schedule is now out at gamesdonequick.com slash schedule. While you're checking out the schedule, if you're interested in submitting a prize for the event, you can use exclamation FF in Twitch chat to submit your prizes. The last day to submit is going to be August 6th. Also, Games Done Quick is hiring, so if you have experience in website design and development and would like to help overhaul our website, or if you have experience in social media creation and want to help out on our live events, be sure to go to our uh, website, gamesonthequick.com slash jobs, to apply. With all that said, I'll hand it over to the runner and let them introduce themselves. Okay, uh, hi, hello. My name is Ayof Silver, and I'll be showcasing Hi-Fi Rush today. Well, let me just get into the game now. Sure. If you want to give us a countdown whenever you're ready. Okay, uh, I'll give you a, a countdown when I'll start level one. And the timer will begin as soon as I am able to move Chai. So let's get into it. Okay. Three, two, one, and go. Okay, so all courses, what does it mean? Basically is we're going to complete the game without skipping any fights. A uh, course is how the game refers to a fight, since, you know, Hi-Fi Rush is a rhythm action game. Everything is synced up to the beat of the music. And yeah, it's really fun. Uh, I'll, I'll just go ahead and say say it. I'm a rookie speedrunner. This is the first game I have ever speedrun. But I, I fell in love with it. I just love Hyper Rush, and speedrunning it is really fun. Well, that's the important thing about speedrunning, right? Is just picking a game that you really love. That way you can just enjoy playing it more, right? Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, uh, the um, subcategory that I am showcasing today is New Game Plus. In New Game Plus, you get to do a couple of things, like skipping tutorials, and other things like having your all your partners right away. I have Peppermint here. Macaron, Corsica, all of them, right off the bat. And another fun things like giving costumes to your characters. So, and um, well, still, New Game Plus is just about optimizing the tools that you have in post game. You get to unlock some upgrades in the post game that are quite useful for running the game <laughs> uh, i'll explain those later whoa went to the platform there So yeah, you just go ahead and skip all the cutscenes. So, how am I doing so much damage? Well, that's because I have a, a chip equipped called High Risk, High Reward. And what are chips? Chips are passive upgrades that you can equip to Chai, or main character. And what the chip does is uh, increase your damage at the cost of increasing the damage that you receive from enemies. I have other chips equipped, but I'll explain those later too. Okay, 
In this tutorial we meet 808 or Cat Companion. The little sphere over there or um, Chai's shoulder. That is 808. Just <laughs> a little sweet kitty. Nice. Well, that looks like all of them. Maybe things aren't so bad after all. Okay. Let's go. So does the did the enemies scale at all in this? Or do you just get to keep like all of your stuff from the previous playthrough? I get to keep all, all my stuff basically. And throughout the game, we're going to be running like in the normal sequence of events, mostly because okay. we're, we're skipping some stuff. Not fights, but some stuff. But yeah, you can you get to to keep everything except. Uh, there is something in in fights that you can you you don't keep after you finish them, and that is your power gauge. Uh, that is the yellow bar on the top of your health over there. But uh, yeah, what I just did was essentially a, a triple jump. Uh, that is a glitch. We called it. Coyote jump storage. That is a glitch that we'll be using to get a little bit of more of kite <laughs> to reach areas that we're not supposed to reach. And the way you do it is by falling off an edge and then you dash and jump at the same time. It's real simple and we'll be using it uh, soon enough to skip a major part of this level. And this is one of the things that I meant when I said that everything in the game is synced up to the beat. In a new game, this is where you will get uh, your special attack, or rather the ability to get special attacks. But this is New Game Plus, so we already have those. Yeah, that is the reverb gotch. So we already have that maxed out. Is in the game plus and stuff. Sweet. There we go. I have a, a jump stored now. See? Normally, you'll have to go through the factory, but instead, we are going to go above it. If I can get it right, that is. Ooh. Nope. Oh, 
There we go. Nice. When you're out of bounds like this, are you like, um, are are you at risk of falling in at any given point, or do you have to go to specific places to be able to get back in bounds? You you are at risk, yeah. <laughs> if <Okay>. you fall, <laughs> you're gonna have to reload this the the level. Otherwise, you're gonna get stuck forever. Okay, so it every time you're out of bounds, it's incredibly risky. Got it. Yeah. You know, the, the buildings and all have like huge hitboxes, but okay. you, you still have, <laughs> have a risk. So gotta be careful. In our courses, we are not going to be getting out of bounds too much, but there is still a risk. So, uh, that was one of the special attacks that we'll be using a lot, that was Guitar Right. The other one is called High Pitch Punch, and with High Pitch Punch, what we're going to be using it for is interrupting enemies during their attacks. And that is basically it. This is the first boss fight of the game against the Quality Assurance Robot, 1 million. Maybe you noticed, but the boss fight has, you know, faces yep. to it, and depleting the the health bar in, in a phase is not enough to continue the the fight because there is another condition and is related to the song. The next phase will not begin until the song has reached a certain point and we'll have to wait <laughs> all we can do is wait until until the song gets there because as soon as the song is ready to continue then any hit to the boss will do to continue There we go. One million defeated. Awesome. And that was level one, or Track one, as the game calls the levels. Guide. Track 
try to keep a low profile. We're starting with track no two now. And um, well, I guess it is, it is about time I'll talk about the story of the game. Well, basically, Chai is a rebel. Chai signed up for a project in this company, this big corporation called Vandalay, to get a robot arm. But you know, things go wrong. He get he gets his MP3 player stuck in his chest and he gets musical robot powers. Then he finds out that Vandele is like evil. And he, so he joins Peppermint and he does other friends that he meets along the adventure to take down Vandele. And I assume that this corporation is kind of like a megacorp, like in all the futuristic... Uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it's so... Okay. It's so massive, so gigantic that the whole, like, campus is a big city. Oh, okay. We're talking that big. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> like fiction big. <laughs> yeah. Sci-fi big. Okay, so I, I mentioned before what Fight Pit Pinch Punch was for, but I didn't mention what Guitar Right was for, what we'll be using it for. Basically, Guitar Right is going to be our oh, cheese tool. We're going to be chasing some fights with Guitar Right because, I'll be honest, Guitar Right is busted, is overpowered. Okay. <laughs> uh, so somebody in chat was asking um, if this w there was an infinite dash tech or if there was a chip they haven't seen yet for the infinite dashing. Infinite dash, okay. So I guess that you noticed, huh? So if you time your dashes right, you get to do, do them like non-stop. I'll show how in a bit. Just let me finish here. Yeah, for sure. Uh, just a second. Okay, so the way you get infinite dashes is by timing the last one uh, to like a semitone of the beat of the music. I'll demonstrate right now. Like this. So the last dash, you combine it with a light attack. Like this. Okay, yeah, I see. What makes you so worried? My source said that Vandalay never kept a project. Oh, looks like fun. And if you time it right, you get to do infinite dashes. The infinite dashes is a great tool for, you know, like moving around because it's so much faster than just running.
So I can essentially do something like this. And I get infinite dashes. Because normally you just get three and then you have to stop. Yeah, the infinite uh, dash makes it look so much like cleaner and more fun. It is fun. <laughs> it is fun to pull up. It's like you're in this constant feeling of being on beat. And, you know, all around is what the game is, is all about. Being on the beat. Okay, so that's Rekka. She is the head of quality assurance. And she's trying to take us down. Because, you know, since Chai got his surgery and, you know, the accident of getting his MP3 player on his chest, he, he is seen as a defect by the company and they don't like defects actually we can just use guitar right here <laughs> i got caught up on myself there you know that, that's the thing the combat is just so much fun Like, the combat and the movement both look really fun to pull off. <laughs> they are. The combat is so fun that you just don't want it to stop, but... You know, it's gotta stop. We gotta get moving. And there's a bunch uh, of, you know, attacks and combos you can do. And combine. In fact... Uh, the good thing about New Game Plus is that you get to use all these special abilities and, and attacks right since level 1, and you can use that to your advantage. Somebody else was asking, um, is this the current patch of the game, or have you did you have to down patch the game at all? No, it is the current patch. Is the version 1.6, I believe. Recently, the game got an update, and the update introduced two new game modes in the post game, which are really fun, let me tell you, but also really hard. The, they are designed for for hardcore fans, so to speak. But yeah, it, it is the current version of the game. We're actually pretty close to Rekka's office now. See, what are these electric barriers? So, if anyone is interested in this game and want to give it a shot, now is the time to do it because. Is getting so much extra content. It's insane. This whole time. Didn't think you needed. Doesn't look like you can make this jump. But see that switch? Let me guess. Yep. Call me in. I can activate those for you. Okay. So instead of activating that button, you're just going to do a, a coyote jump storage. to get by. Looks 
like somebody got an upgrade. My time to shine. I can overload those So, uh, those are shields that only peppermint can take down. And that is exactly what we're doing. We're calling in peppermint. She takes it down. Now we're free to attack. And the enemy is down. This will be easy. Oh, I missed. Well, that went better than expected. Of course it did. I was there. Need help? <laughs> oh. Okay, uh, so coming up is a brand new glitch that the community discovered like a week ago and it's honestly crazy. I'll show you what I mean as soon as the battle is over. Okay, so here it is. We're gonna fly now. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me see if I can reach that gap over there. Nope. You know what? Not an issue. We're just flying again. So, this is the new glitch I was talking about. Let's see, I can fill the gap now. And if not, then we can just... Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, so, awesome. we called it the windowed flight glitch. And it's really easy to pull off. What you do is, instead of playing in full screen, you gotta play, you know, windowed. And then you do a, a parry in the air. And the moment you do that parry, you just click on the top of the window and hold. And when you release the click, you, you're just flying. You fly. That's fantastic. It is. It, it's just insane. There we go. So in any percent, you know, people is just going wild with this glitch. Because they, they get to skip all, basically, most of the fights. Going out of bounds by flying and by triple jumping. So yeah, it's just crazy. Anyway, this is Rekka. And she's a tough one. So as you can see, her health is depleted. We're just waiting for the song to, you know, reach that point that is looking for and continue.
Okay. So now she's electrified. And you can parry almost anything in this game except for electricity. So we gotta watch out for that. You ain't gonna ruin this company's rep. You're going out with the trash. <laughs> Look at it right in the face. That, that, uh, that attack that she did there was really dangerous. So it's, it is a good thing that I parried. So the fight is almost over. She goes and gets electricity again. But I watch out. Oh, she got me. No worries, though. Rekka is done. And that was track two, coming up is track three. And normally in a new game, track three is when you learn how to parry. But yeah, it, it goes without saying that we have been parrying since, since the start. They've been planning some R&D expansion in that area. So you take it in. Yeah. As long as I don't... Hey, you! You're not part of my crew! Like some explosive set to clear the rock formations. Well, let's win. Get him, Jai. We are just going to ignore that generator and start flying again. This <laughs> 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 is such a fun. <laughs> 
you know, the, the funny thing is that we, we don't even know what that happens. It, we, we just know that it's useful for us and that we hope they never fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it stays like this forever. Because, I mean, seriously, I cannot stretch how easy it is to pull off. Nope. Wrong power. That is okay. We're doing the right one now. is important to a working relationship. Well, oh. next time, communicate to me when you're gonna mess up my plans again. Workplace safety is our top priority. This volcano is deemed perfectly safe and harmless by the R&D investigation team. Okay, so that is Senko, and Senko is an annoying little fella because he gives chills to all enemies. So we gotta take him down fast. The writing on this game seems so fun, too. Yeah, it, it is a shame that we're missing most of it, but the writing, the writing is just awesome. It's on, it's on point. Oh yeah, that's Sansu. So, we just got uh, Rekka, who was the quality assurance head. Sanso is the research and development head. Why are you upset? We are supposed to sneak in. And we're going for him now. Sanso is is this just egocentric maniac who I love very much because he's he's funny. The funny guy. I mean, you know, they, they they always have one of those in the, uh, the futuristic uh, animes and stuff, so it makes sense. <laughs> also, we're going to have bounce now. 
Oh, this one's way out of bounds, holy. <laughs> so, the part that we're skipping is, you know, part of the parry tutorial of this level. It does have enemies, but it's not a fight because at the end it doesn't give you a score, a, a rank. So yeah, not a fight. We can just safely skip it. Here's Sansu. This is all pretty expensive, sir. Do we? I want this. Don't do it. Remove those security lasers here. Okay, here comes the Brutal. <laughs> this is one of the big guys that is a little special compared to other enemies. Uh, the difference is that when, you know, you do enough damage, he becomes enraged. Like that. Mm -hmm. So so we enter this like mini games that we have to do in order to defeat the big guys. We want to avoid those mini games as much as we can. And to do just that we'll be using high high pit punch. The special attack. Yeah, he got promoted to head of R and D after Kale took over the company. Just to head. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gonna take Senko first. Okay, so there is a little easter egg that I wanted to show you. Normally you get Macaron, this big guy, in the next level, but this is New Game Plus, so we have it now. He's the only one that can take those red shields down. So if we do that now, <laughs> We got scold, but the game. All this messes everything up. Do not be afraid. I will activate the cutscene as usual. <laughs> so yeah, just a uh, uh, fourth while break. How about if you use macaron before intended? Oh. And that was track three. Next up is Stark 4, and it's one of my favorites because of how fast it is. Let's quick 
Quiero de paz. Okay, How are we doing on time? Uh, we're at about 45 minutes right now. Awesome. Try calling in macaron. Okay, we're back at that uh giant drill thing. We can see that. Now just climb it back where we were. Oh, hey Todd! It ain't Z show there. I can knock that boulder out of the way for you. Imagine it's one of Sanzo's secure. Get this. Looking through databases for the information about Spectre. But Sanzo locked out all employees. So who has access? From what I could tell, only Kale and the other department. Guess they're all in on this. But wait, Corsica, the head of security, seems to have limited permission, though. Why wouldn't the head of security have full access? <laughs> all hands on deck! I have an idea that needs all the juice we've got. It doesn't fit in the schedule, so we're gonna have to crunch this one out. <laughs> <laughs> I love Sansa. Sanso kind of uh, reminds me to the monarch in the Bento Brothers. Oh, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you've awesome. seen the Bento Brothers. I have, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so much like the monarch. You, you know, you're just... very much, <laughs> much making me want to buy this game. <laughs> You, you just have to go for it, man. This game is so much fun. And has his ver its version of the Monarch. I think, like, the Monarch is like one of the best characters in that show. <laughs> yeah, hands down, one of the best. <laughs> Peppermint, don't get mad. Unsympathetic? Hot-headed? You don't even know me! You are only proving me correct. Come on, Chai, you can vouch for me, all right. Uh, I mean, wait a second. at least the, the monarch has, like, 21, right? <laughs> with Sanso, uh, you know, with Sanso is different, because his minions to him, the just... He's pretty Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just bad. Somehow got past my powerful toys without letting me watch. Unforgivable. But luckily, my AR labs are perfect for recreating missed opportunities. Like this. Mandalay <laughs> Alternate Reality Recreation Technology. Fight. Patent approved. So real, it hurts. Wow. It's like I'm really. I know. Awesome, right? <laughs> oh, good. Now, show me what I missed. Just a little extra. Ouch. Yeah, the game, in simple words, it, it has style. For sure. Through the, yeah, through the animations and the writing, the characters. Like, it, it very much is going for a, a light-hearted, comedic style, and it nails it, so. Exactly. Let's 
like th this game could very much just be a, a, a cartoon uh, and this will be I would awesome. watch it everybody will everybody will watch it it will be a hit we can use this no budget our development pipeline if anybody who worked on this game is watching <laughs> We'd watch a cartoon. Now we can see Chai drain the budget in real time. Ready for round two. We got something new for me. You did so well at our trading exercises. Yeah, uh, um, please give it like four seasons and 200 episodes. This again. Oh, they can go the Sonic Boom route. <laughs> oh man, Sonic Which, Boom. If, if nobody if, if you haven't seen the Sonic Boom cartoon, it is so good. I have I have seen it. I have seen it. It, it is it, it a is fun. Man, c cartoon villains are, are so much fun. We got the Monarch, and we have Eggman in Sonic Boom. When they're done right, they're so good. <laughs> yeah. Just a little flight over here. Oh, slip. That's okay, we can fly again. I, I'm gonna be thinking about why that does that for like the rest of the day. Like, at the end of the day, it doesn't particularly matter, but it's just, it's so cool to think about like, why things like that happen in games like like as far as we know it it, it has to do with the game uh, reaching very low fps like five or so oh okay yeah Chai, this is amazing. Look at that budget drain. so when you, you hold the window the, the game basically drops down to less than 5 FPS and the game, yeah. I don't know, it gets confused or something. That makes a lot of sense. Anyways, flying again. Nice. I'm flying again, but uh, this time we're looking for uh, a trigger that will acti activate the next platforms around here. There we go. 
Oh, uh, and also, while, while we're flying, we can call partners. Okay. And yeah, that was a JoJo dance. As a, aside from, <laughs> you know, behaving like like the monarch, Sanso is also like a big JoJo reference. Okay, I, I have not seen JoJo, so I'm gonna miss a lot. Okay, no, you know what? I, I, I think I got that one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that one was right. pretty on the nose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, miss! I missed this little guy. In that cutscene, we just basically hit Sanso in the face, and then we escape. <laughs> As you do. As a normal Sunday. What now? Just everyday stuff. Uh, this song is one of the reasons this level is my favorite. I just like it a lot. A lot. Uh, so we had talked about uh, a break around now. I assume like after this level would be a good spot. Yeah, uh, after this level is done, we can have a break. Oh, sounds good.
Cobarde. Broken rails ahead. Get that magnet ready. Intercept the target. And that is it for track four. Awesome. Uh, okay. So you want to take a break right now? Yeah, uh, uh, break will be nice. Perfect. Uh, so everybody, just during these longer runs, we like to take a break about every hour. So, so everybody can get up, stretch, get some water, anything else they might want to do. Just a real quick reminder before our break. Uh, if you missed out on any of our content... Uh, our hotfix shows, our past events like SGDQ 2023 or Juneteenth. You can check out all of the VODs over at youtube.com slash gamesdonequick. The VODs will be going up about four days after they air. Uh, with all that said, we'll be back in just a few minutes for more uh, Hi-Fi Rush. You can do it if you are. I am. Yeah, if you just want to give a quick countdown uh, whenever you're ready to go. Three, two, one, and go. So, what's the plan now that we defeated the bit? I'll make what? your sword. Oh. I'm. Take a nap and get the spec. So, uh, that's Corsica. Corsica is the head of security. So, now where were we? A little bit of a spoiler, but if you see the UI, you can see Corsica in the corner. Uh, that does mean that Corsica join us later. <laughs> is that just because New Game Plus you already have done this, or is that just uh, uh, something in the uh, first play here? No, it's just because of New Game Plus. Gotcha. Since you already have all the partners, you get to play with Corsica since level 1. In fact, uh, in fact, here she is. There she is. Attention, this is Corsica. There's some sort of security destabilization in Wing One. I have something else requiring my attention right now. So uh, this level, this this track is normally pretty linear. You you have to go through uh, three security nodes that you have to activate. Uh, there is an order to it. You do node one, and then two, and then three. But because of the flying glitch, we get to do it in a faster order. Let's see here. There we go. Just get up to here. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> and the faster order is node 3 and then node 2 and then node 1. So the opposite of the intended order.
These are the notes. <laughs> oh, I just saw the little robot there. Poor fella. Oh no. There he is. <laughs> so yeah, we do uh, this little quick time events and if I do them right, that is. There we go. And then the node is activated. Us in? Looks like there's a route out near the main data stream. Check it out, Chai. Still need to turn on the other data now. Let's hope this gets me back to the main chamber. I'm just going to damage boost in this section. There we go. So instead of taking the elevator, we're going to ignore it and drop line over here <laughs> to node two. Do you have any idea how much time this glitch saves? Yeah, uh, at least like a whole minute. At That's the very least. Significant. Yeah. So we activate the second node. There we go. That's it, Shy. All nodes activated. Just so Macaron is saying that all nodes are activated, but you know that's a lie. <laughs> the, the game thinks that uh, they are all activated, but we're missing one. Again, instead of taking the elevator, we're going to ignore it and go here. Uh, the reason that enemies are just popping in out of nowhere is because the game is getting confused by us doing the notes out of order. Security detail. Agent losses at all costs. 
like they're out of sync. I can probably lock their data streams in place with my blaster when the spheres open up. Bingo! Should be enough. Back to the main room. There are still two more nodes to activate. We have to uh, get over here while flying to activate the cutscene. Should be able to get to the other two now. Two routes? Take your pick, little guy. There we go. Well, I was trying to, to avoid this getting the two cutscenes. What I was trying to do was getting them at the same time. So I don't have to go to the middle again. But didn't work. Anyways, uh, Macaron was talking earlier about uh, getting a password from Corsica. The deal with that password is that, well, the reason that Vandele is evil is because Vandele is trying to co mind control the customers with a project called Spectra. And to deactivate that project, we need the passwords that each boss is, is holding. So Rekka had one, and Sanso had a password too, and Corsica has a password too. And that is, that is the reason why we are fighting these bosses. Oh, damn. Oh, there we go. Step closer to Corsica. Hey! That went pretty well up there. You're breaking me out, working together. All right. Somehow the defect who I thought we secured got away. What the hell? Not only that, he has fixed our security system. I should be angry, but let's just say my feelings right now are mixed. Yeah. Mixed. A vague phrase. I'll take it. So now we are taking the lift to go from. Wing 1 of security to Wing 2 to meet Corsica. Wind in my hair. And you know, this is actually refreshing. maybe well, try and talk her out of staying with Vandalay and handing over the passwords. Maybe you're wrong. Here they come. Coming your way.
uh, this, this level, this track, track 6, is pretty much the same for any percent and uh, all choruses. Because the whole level is you staying on the lift and fighting, you know, a battle after battle. Okay, makes sense. Also, you can just <laughs> power the signs that are coming. I must have been hit by them. Weird. Here come me. Just let me at him. There we go. I'm enjoying the ride, but this is one long. You think wing one and two would be right next to each other, huh? More construction ahead. So earlier on the run, I mentioned having a passive upgrade for damage, right? Yep. I have another uh, chip and an upgrade that allows me to call a partner again in battle without having to wait for their cooldown and that is going to be used for uh, okay. no more of that. this next section So I, I can call Macron again, but I need to have uh, my river gotch field at, le at least one bar in order to do so. So we need to recharge it first. There we go. We have our river gauge field, so I can now call him instantly. Instead of fighting, what we want to do is uh, destroy the brakes as soon as we can. Because if all the brakes are destroyed, the fight is over. Okay. Now arriving at security wing two. 
And that is the end for track 6. The game has 12 tracks, so we're in the middle of the game now. Security wing. Chai is under great pressure. Best not to apply anymore. You got this, Chai. Check out construction for a back door. Positive. Well, we do have more pressing matters. Might there be anyone here who knows how to fix the coffee machine? We're doing a coyote jump stars together over here. And skip this whole platforming section. Man, that was a really good line. <laughs> yeah, it is a shame that I had to skip it. I'm sorry, Macaron. Okay, I'm emotionally ready. What's the catch? You can't just strong arm Corsica to get her password like the other bosses. Says who? Corsica is an outfitted with Vandalay tech. There's no pass key. She memorizes her passwords. You'll need to get her to cooperate with us. What? How am I supposed to do that? Persuasiveness is indeed not one of Mr. Chai's thoughts. Right. We need the password to shut down Spectra. Uh, let's brainstorm here. Catching off elevator access. Uh, going up is very up. I just lost the quick way. Oh, the Chai I know wouldn't let that stop. Oh, I fall. <laughs> I fell. The thing I do like about this is that it's lenient in falling and stuff like that. Like, there are, there are some games where, and I, I get it, like, it makes sense that if you fall, it, it's punishing, but, like, I really like games where it's like, oh, I fell, whatever, I'm right back into it. Yeah, it's it's just like you if you fall the the game just lets you continue right into it. Like, it doesn't send you too far from where you fail. Vandalay six months ago. It did seem like she's been trying to prove herself to Kale since he ran into her. That's pretty insecure for head of security. <laughs> hey, a joke from Peppermint. Not just to all security employees. I removed access from elevators temporarily. Please make use of the stairs. It is a healthy alternative. Corsica's right. It is healthy.
Now keep moving. That was hard. <laughs> the, the, those were a lot of enemies with shields. Okay, plan time. How am I getting that password? You're still thinking? Think better? We're running out of time. Well, I don't see you contributing. Miss Stephanie. Please don't confuse Mr. Chai by implying that he is the brains behind the mission. Exactly! Wait. Oh, Peppermint. Corsica's in her office, right? See if you can mirror her screen, and we can catch her using her password. Fair enough. Try that. Get this, Chai. She was looking at Spectra files. The stuff about mind control. She must have forced her way in there. She wants to know the truth. So, we, we are getting closer to o Corsica's office. And in return, what she decides to do is activate these lasers here. But we still have to make our way. Up in the tower. So, the plan is to just talk to Corsica, but, you know, that plan is not going to go well. Get up, 
Like that's her office. Man, what a right. Okay, remember what I said about get the right being a cheese? Well, in this fight, we're doing nothing but get that right. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's awesome. Just with get that right. Do not disturb. Seriously, it, 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 it needs a nerf. <laughs> Heard you like air ducts. Go get dirty. It, like, it... It looks so, yeah, just so strong. Last chance. What am I doing? So you're gonna have to wing it and talk to it. Remember the last time I tried to talk it out? Your demeanor is pragmatic, provided you do not escalate. Talk to her calmly, face the facts. My specialty. Can things escalate? Then we get back here somehow? But uh, please be nice about it. <laughs> Okay, so now we are fighting Corsica, and this is unlike the other boss battles, in the sense that this is a party battle. We are trying to reason with Corsica, so we do not want to attack her, we are just defending ourselves and trying to get her you know, tired. You think you can strong out me? Hey, you chose to fight. Wait, you like puns too? What? No. Whatever. Let's see how you handle this. Good. Caught you off guard. Okay, scratch parrying everything. Yeah, that didn't work. Plus, she's totally lying about hating puns. <laughs> Cheers. I felt a pile So now, not only we have to parry, but also dodge. Okay, just for context, Chai doesn't know what oblivious means. Just watch. He doesn't care about you? Otherwise, he wouldn't have kept you in the dark. You don't know that. I know you're not like the others, Corsica. You can feel something's wrong. Chai, you are surprisingly convincing. She 
escalating. I think we may have a chance. Or are you just too oblivious to figure that out? Oh, come on! That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so close. Mr. Jai. Wait, what is oblivious mean? Okay. Apologies to ad in advance to Corsica. <laughs> But I'm gonna have to drop her on the ground. Because it is faster than catching her. <laughs> Sorry, Corsica. It needed to happen. But she'll be fine. See, she's fine. So, uh, basically, Kale, who is the CEO of Vandalay, tries to kill Corsica. And she's with us now. She's part of the team. There she is. There should be a back route nearby leading to the museum. One day, I want to take the front route. Uh, how about next time we shoot you? This is the night you've been waiting for! The Armstrong Festival! I know you're eager to get home to a better life and spread the word about your... Down the back route? That was Mimosa. She is the head of marketing for Vandalay. And we are fighting her too. Soon enough. Go on, Chai. You gotta act quick. Heberman, this tech is amazing. Thanks. I, uh, it wasn't much. Miss Peppermint, your face is turning red. Are you happy? ESA for all service workers. The most demand water reservoir to be converted into underground sauna by the end of the year. Fires is my specialty. Figuratively and literally. So uh, from now on, we're going to do encounter fire enemies. And for those, Corsica is the partner that can help. To fight him. Exhibit takes us to where we need to go. Head there. 
there we go. I was just about to say that we are headed to the Vandalay Museum, but we must have <laughs> said it first, so... Yeah, that's where we are now. Designing chips and robotics in her garage would sell them out of her car. Not impressive, but you have to start somewhere, I suppose. Look, that is the original truck on display. They don't mention those robotics led her to solving a global energy crisis. It's almost like they're mocking her. Peppermint, let's focus. Okay, moving on. <sighs> I get the feeling this exhibit will be very one sided. The winners of the war write the history books, unfortunately. Yeah, during this track in in the museum, basically the game is going to drop Vandalay lore on us. And expose who Kale is and who the original CEO was, which is Roxanne Vandalay. Man, <laughs> I really don't know if I should spoil that part of the game. But, well, just to drop a hint, uh, Peppermint has something to do with Kale and with Roxanne. We were now Vandalay Technologies. Okay. But we I'll, I'll let you figure that out for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Everything we did felt like... Well, felt like it made a difference. That's because it did. And from the outside, no one knows any better. There's Mimosa. Kale's a liar, Mimosa. Figures he'd side with him. Of course he can. Ooh, what a twist. Enough theatrics. Oh, there's never enough. And I'm not going to let you ruin my performance. Oh. There we go. Uh, yeah, Mimosa is this very dramatic theater girl who is giving a concert in the oh, wrong door. <laughs> In the Vandalay uh, Stadium, and we're going to pay her uh, a visit there. Talking while, while you play is hard.
What's this? Okay. It is about time to, you know, fly again. Oh. Oh, hold up. Oh no, did the game crash? Did the game crash? Oh man, I hope not. Oh, okay, we're safe. Oh, we're back. Okay. We're safe. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Double can be just bad. <laughs> Imagine that I was like, we're flying again, and the game just goes, no, you're not. <laughs> game was like, oh, well, let's see about that. <laughs> oh. The generator's still running. That's shocking. No. <laughs> She's lying. She likes puns, I know. On fire! There we go. We are we are almost done with the museum. An exhibit destroyed. Great. Let's burn this whole place down. Peppermint, you okay? You seem more annoyed than usual. Uh, another one. As time crept forward. Roxanne Vandelay saw it fit to retire and pass along the company to a new visionary. 
Kale, her only child, was the obvious choice. He was as smart, if not smarter, than his brilliant mother. And oh, look at that hair! What? That's just a lie. Miss Peppermint, you are more frustrated than dealing with Mr. Chai. Today, Kale's dear mother lives in peace and quiet, enjoying her retirement, knowing the company is in great hands. He forced her out. You're just as annoying as Kale's been saying. Got it! Never! Don't worry, Chai. Mimosa's just throwing whatever she has at you. Well, I'm sure it's exciting to watch. Indeed, it is! Okay. This is the last fight before the boss fight with Mimosa. Which, in my opinion, is really cool. You, you fight in the middle of a concert. I didn't get it at the first try. You're almost there, Chai. Just open the door for us in the next room. There we go. That is track eight. Do your thing and get up to the backstage area. <laughs> Here I come, Mimosa. Try to follow that hallway. We weren't able to stop the intruders in the Just a, a normal, sneaky entrance. I am going on now. They seem to be very bad at sneaking. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there was ever a time where the sneaking worked. Anyways, I'm a shark now. Made it backstage, Chai. Where are you? I'm on my way to the stage, dressed as a shark. Ask me. Please hurry. Mimosa is on stage now. There's no time to be subtle about it, Chai. Just go at her. You're gonna be great up there. Uh, I'm dressed as a shark to sneak it, sneak in to the concert. As you do, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's the plan. So uh, I'm, I'm left shark. I'm supposed to be left shark, but we are about to take the main role.
Oh. This is one of my favorite songs in the soundtrack overall. Because it just, you know, I don't know, just glamorous, I guess. Yeah, no, it, it, I definitely, I, I definitely get what you're saying. Oh. Is it like my controller is acting up? Okay. The controller is having a little bit of input lag. That's weird. Oh, that's okay. Well, if you want, we're coming up on the two hour mark anyway, so after this boss, we can take a break and you can hopefully figure out. Yeah, I'll, I'll check on that. But seems like it solved itself. I don't know. Okay. That was Strike Nine. Well, do you want to take the break right now, then? Yeah, uh... A break sounds... Good. Perfect. Let's just jump into the results screen. There we go. Perfect. We can take a break now. So, uh, like I mentioned earlier, during these longer runs, we like to take a break every hour, so just so everybody can, you know, get up, stretch, grab some water, anything they need to do. Just a quick reminder before you do, or we do go to the break, uh, your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, and bitch cheered on the G GDQ Twitch channel do help support the games on Quick Hot Fix. So if you like any of our uh, the shows we put on, the showcases of uh, games, uh, the Resident Evil Relay afterwards, or any of our daily content, it does help us put on that content, so it really does help. Uh, with that said, uh, we'll take a quick break, and then we'll see you back for the rest of the run. Fresh showcase. Uh, we are near the end of the game. We've got uh, a little, or well, probably about 40 minutes left, so I will hand it right back over to the runner. And uh, whenever you're ready, you can just uh, give a countdown. Okay. Uh, as soon as the loading is done, we can start. So three... Two, one, and go. I can recalculate the trajectory here. I'm actually going to pause here for a minute and let's see, load that and see it's oh, I don't know why. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that might was... explain it. <laughs> that was probably it. So hopefully none of the <laughs> input lag is present now. So we just defeated Mimosa, the head of marketing. And now we uh, now we are headed to defeat Rockfort, who is the head of finance. My 
preparations for the cannon have completed. Now to begin the careful adjustments. Is that the fastest you can And to get to Dropford, uh, we are la <laughs> launching Chai out of a cannon. Oh, excellent. Yeah, makes sense. Total sense. I mean, it is a plan. It, it is very much a plan. Okay. So yeah, sneaking in never works. <laughs> it just it does not work out. Okay, good. Okay, that was rough. 
so now we are leaving the cafeteria and making our way to Rockford's office. Everybody loves spawns in this game. I have to wait. That was supposed to be uh, like a mini boss fight, by the way. <laughs> oh! <laughs> well! Supposedly. But you know, that's how the guitar, that's how guitar ride is. Yeah, I think I found the atrium. Look up to the left. Yep, I see it. Rockford's office is right on that balcony. Oh, dope. I got this. All units entering rooms, please use the doors available. Destroyed walls are very expensive. <laughs> ah! No one panic. Mr. Jai has assured us he has, quote, got this, end quote. Just brush it off. You're almost there. Government! That was quick. <laughs> that was very quick. Just three seconds. Okay, this the, this jump that I'm going to at attempt is kind of hard, actually. Hey. I'm probably losing time right now, but I'm just gonna go for it. Sometimes it's about getting the trick, not saving time. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, man. That looked really close. This is personal now. It's about sending a message. 
<laughs> oh man. It just I gotta stand in this little tiny <laughs> platforms here. It's really hard. There we go. Yay, first nice. try. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> first try every time. <laughs> Got it. Nice. Oh yeah, by the way, we, we are making our way through a, a really big stat a statue of Kale, the CEO <laughs> of Bundle. And yeah, we are going to redecorate. <laughs> The statue looks, looks much, much better, better now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a phone. This is not ominous at all. <laughs> Let's pick it up. It's Roquefort. Hi, Roquefort. Bye. He's just letting us in? This guy looks like a total pushover. I don't know, Chai. Roquefort had a bad rep. Roquefort! What? I'm good. Is it? <laughs> That's the same Roquefort, by the way. Oh, this is, this is the worst part. In this part, he just start running away. And he's really evasive too. That's where he runs away are, are just the worst. He's really hard, hard to hit. And it's just annoying to have to chase him down. Yeah. Yeah, it work. Oh man. Don't be scared, 
There we go. I put my stock in future. All right, now I'm getting a real uh, DuckTales vibe here. <laughs> yeah, th this is what they were going for. <laughs> and they succeeded. Like <laughs> he even he even dives into the coins. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, I'm actually low on health. Hold up. <laughs> there we go. There we go, that, that's the end for Rockport. We got the password and the fight is over. And as much gold as you can carry, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's a, a little bonus there. Uh, I am. There we go, we only have Two tracks left. Okay, so here uh, we find out that well, Kale is mind controlling Roxanne, his own mother. So yeah, that, that's not nice. Not usually, no. <laughs> You, but I, anyway, this, this is the level of power of friendship, where everybody, you know, realizes how far they have come, and the bonds they have built. And that they can do it, and they trust each other. They even have flashbacks, <laughs> but it's, it, in reality, when well, I'll be honest, it, it is emotional. <laughs> it really does get to you, especially since the you know the characters are so lovable oh, now. Sure. So yeah, I. I <laughs> A confession here, I was tearing up during my first playthrough. This part did make me cry a little bit. Just a tiny little bit. It showed uh, a mouse there because I was preparing for for a, for a flight, <laughs> for a window flight. Oops. 
so yeah. <laughs> We're just going to fly over this bridge. Instead of doing the, the platforming. Oh man. This is one of my favorites, if not my favorite, son in the game. And, you know, it may be just because it, may, it makes me emotional. Because That's of, a great reason to like a song, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> it is a good reason. I, I really hold this song in a, in a special place. You just, I don't know, it, <laughs> it fills me with joy. I, I mean, that, that's what songs are supposed to do, right? So, <laughs> it's, it's a great reason to, uh, to hold a song high. Yeah. I, I just hear it on, on repeat constantly. <laughs> Maybe a little too much. <laughs> I've definitely done that with songs before. I can see What the hell is that? And now for something you won't get past. Get out of that little guy. Is that Santos robot? Looks like Kale put on the final touch. I mean, <laughs> look at them, they're just working together, <laughs> being a team. It gets to me, man. Oh, for sure. <laughs> like, this is the part where everybody just does everything they need to, and it all yeah. works out. Finally, <laughs> everything works out.
It appears the break in its armor becomes a critical heat point. Uh, not short enough to take that thing down, though. Well, good news. I think you lost. <laughs> Massive face to the face. It's okay, though. Cinnamon now. Uh, I didn't really talk about Cinnamon like at all, but he, he's a good robot. He, he's a he's, he was made by Macaron, and yeah, just an innocent little fella. And now the the ultimate power of friendship. Go. Big main robot is destroyed, and now the only thing that is left is scale. Nowhere to run, Kale. You're in oh, you've had a few hits, but I think it's time we break up the band. How about you? Know we Okay, so Kale knocks out Chai, and but but we still have a right. The cat can't take care of it. There we go. Now we are Chai again. Okay, so we didn't have any luck involved in the run at all yet. Well, this is the t <laughs> this is the part of the game where luck is involved. Kale can use one of three attacks, and one of those attacks is using his shields, and that is what we want in order to 
uh, finish this phase faster. But we didn't get shields fast enough, so... But that is okay. There we go. That went by very quick. <laughs> Get the timer ready. I'll tell you when to stop the timer. That's it. This looked yeah. like an incredibly fun run throughout. The, <laughs> the, the, the writing is so good, too. Yeah, it, it's just an amazing game, honestly. It, is that it? Yeah, I that is it. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to skip this to as to not spoil you. <laughs> because I do want you to try this game. This, uh, this looks like such a fun game. It is a blast. Uh, thank you so much for you know coming on and showcasing the game. Uh, is there anything else you want to say? Uh, any shout outs or anything? Well, shout outs to my friends and family who <laughs> were watching the, the whole thing. Oh, that's awesome. They just gave me the early support and I, I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, especially my, my girlfriend who really gave me the, the guts to be here. If it wasn't for her, uh, I, I wouldn't have, you know, taken the, the opportunity. So oh, I really I think have... you did. It's okay, go ahead. No. Uh, that, that was all. I was gonna say, I think you did a fantastic job. Uh, the run was very well done. Uh, I I had a blast, uh, and I, I think you nailed. I think you nailed the run. You did a great job. <laughs> uh, uh, what was the time, by the way? Uh, two thirty one oh one. Two thirty one. Wait. Wow. <laughs> that that is actually not not bad. Yeah, you, you came in like 14 minutes on estimate, so it was a very <laughs> good run. Awesome. All right, Chad is saying things, so I needed to ask, are you able to pet the cat? Let's find out. Hey, don't yes, you to are. Some love to oh my <laughs> God. All right, the game just got like 10 times better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can pet the cat. And th there is a ton of other cool details in this game. They're, they're... That's awesome. They really went all out <laughs> on it. Oh man. Well, yeah, th there is graffiti that you can collect throughout the levels. Uh, game modes that you can try after you complete the game. Costumes. I mean, it, it just. It just really fun and complete experience you know i love this game and i love speed running it and i'm gonna keep doing so that's awesome <laughs> uh again uh thank you so much uh like i said it was a, a great run uh, i had a blast i think everybody here had a blast thank you so much <laughs> thank, um, thanks to you where can uh 
where can people find you? Uh, where can I? Where, where, where can they find me? Uh, the, yeah, do you, do you stream? You know, before you know the, the event, I didn't stream at all, but maybe I'll, I'll start doing it. So That's yeah, awesome. it's Age of Silver for streaming. And my YouTube channel as well is Age of Silver. I often upload my, my runs to YouTube, so if they want it, they can watch the, the runs there. Awesome, and uh, I, I hope you, uh, if you, you do pick up streaming, I hope you have a fun time. And, uh, <laughs> I hope to see uh, a lot more high fire up from you. Yeah, that, that is a given. <laughs> uh, and I, again, uh, I want to, I, I know I've said it before, but uh, thank you so much for being on. Uh, but we do have another show coming up. Uh, we right after this, we have the second day of Resident Evil Relay. Uh, so we're going to take a quick break while we get set up for that, and uh, stay tuned for that. We'll uh, get to see which team wins today. Cool. <laughs>